What's up, YouTube? So in this video in Undisputed, they're going to be talking about uh, LeBron James' legacy and Michael Jordan's legacy and how they kind of compare. Um, I know this is a, a cliche topic. And they talk about this every other week, every other day. So let's just bear with me and let's see what they have to say. You first. How would missing the playoffs affect LeBron's legacy? It wouldn't affect it all to me. I mean, a little? No. Um, I well, first off, it has to affect your legacy. If you consider yourself to go every year you don't make the playoffs, it's 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 an issue. That means something, no matter what. If you're to go, every single year counts. Every single year. So let's keep going. I love how we do everything we possibly can to excuse Jordan not making the playoffs in his final two years. And I get it. Everybody say, well, Magic never missed the playoffs. Well, Magic never played. Well, hold on, Shannon. Uh, MJ was pretty old. Uh, his final two years. He was 38 and probably, what, 39, I think? But even still, I don't want to make excuses for Michael Jordan, okay? He's the GOAT. I don't need to make excuses for him. So, Jordan, you should have made the playoffs this past two years, all right? But you're still the GOAT. All right, so let's keep going. He was less than three Hall of Famers. Bird never missed the playoffs. He never played with less than four Hall of Famers. Tell me the guy, tell me the guy on the roster currently that's going to be all NBA moving forward. Tell me the guy that's on the roster right now that's going to be in the Hall of Fame. And I just wait. Oh, yeah, that many. Not... Look, I get it. On which roster? On the Lakers, Lakers roster. Right now? Right now. Rondo. Rondo, right. I was going to say Rondo. You think Rondo will go to the Hall of Fame? Possibly. Yeah. So that might be a stretch. I don't know if Rondo's going to make it to the Hall of Fame, but he might. He might. But So what's your point, Shannon? I mean, what, what's your point? If you see the people, some people that's in the Hall of Fame, yeah. they definitely deserve it. <laughs> but when those guys were playing hey, with... Those kids, who knows what they might do. It's just the they might it's take early. off. Let me ask it's you a question. It's early. What can I do you? Where would you rank Kareem? If you, but if, what do you think, Kareem? You think Kareem is okay? Yeah. Kareem, you think Kareem is okay? Three. Top three to me. Top three. Guess who, guess, guess, guess who, guess who, play with, who you play with? Magic. So you can understand why they would make James worthy. Is he in the Hall of Fame? Mm. What about McAdoo? Mm. What about Mikhail? Parrish? Dennis Johnson? Nate yeah. Archibald? Yeah. Bill Wall Okay, so what, Shannon? That's just the way it happened to work out. Back in those days, you can't, you can't blame them like they were trying to make super teams. That's just the way it worked out. Guys couldn't just jump around from team to team to team like they do today. So that's that's nothing you that's not a, a point, a talking point. Oh. Come on, Skip, baby. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You, I didn't say a word yet. I haven't even spoken. <laughs> <Because the fact, laughs> <who's laughs> you name one player Michael played with at Washington? Exactly. No, not no, one. Not, not one. one. But I can name old Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman. You know Dennis Rodman. But hold on, Shannon. I thought we were talking about when Michael Jordan. The last two years he played, he didn't make the playoffs. And he played with trash. But you don't want to acknowledge that. But you acknowledge when LeBron's playing with trash and wants to cry about that and doesn't make it. It's the same thing right there. Except MJ's the GOAT. In the league and rebounding all three years he was in Chicago. And your point is? The point is he had Hall of Famers. And okay. when he didn't have a Hall of Famer, guess where he was? He was 38 and 39. He'd what? been off for three years. He'd been gone from basketball. And even at that, even at that age, he still wasn't in year sixteen. That was year thirteen, year fourteen. LeBron James is in year sixteen with eight straight finals on his resume. Okay, so Shannon, so if you want to use that type of logic, that means you, you you're showing, you're implying that, or you're saying that LeBron's been playing longer than MJ. Because MJ was on your 13 or 14, I guess, when he won his championship, last championship or whatever. And LeBron's on your 16. So that means LeBron's been playing longer. So he should have more rings, though. Right? He should have more. He's been playing longer. So he should have more rings. Especially if you're supposed to be the GOAT. So that means MJ got more rings and less time than LeBron did. And MJ went to college. MJ did four years in college. So and LeBron went straight from high school to the pros. So that means LeBron had more time to win more rings and didn't do it. He didn't do it. Let's keep going. I'll sprinkle in a couple of Olympics mm. and da da, here we are. Mm. Still giving you mm. 27, 8, and 8. Can I answer you? you I, I'm glad you yawned because those are roll out of bed numbers for LeBron. That, those are great numbers, uh, Shannon. Those are great numbers by LeBron. LeBron is balling. He's putting up some type of numbers that are, are, are Hall of Fame numbers. That he puts up on the regular. But guess what? But guess what, Shannon? Guess what? Numbers really matter, though. It's that ring count. How many rings do you have? How many rings does LeBron have? How many rings does MJ have? Well, let's keep on going. 
That's what he does. He just rolls. He yawns and rolls out of bed, and he goes 27-8. Am, am I surprised they're not in the playoffs? I thought the Lakers would be better. I really That's thought right. the Lakers would be better. But then the injury bug started. It hit him. It hit Rondo. It hit Lonzo. And now Kuzma. And now Ingram. And now Stevenson. And now Chandler. So, yeah, come on. But when we look at a stack, this is not a really good team now. Not a good team at all. And, and no, people shouldn't be upset that they didn't make the playoffs. I mean... Well, you can't go there, Shannon, with that type of argument because LeBron played with trash last year and made it to the finals. He played with trash last year and made it to the finals out of the East. But this year, he's in the West now playing with trash and he can't make it? That's the excuse? That's the excuse. And to be to be honest, deep down inside, people in L.A. and Laker fans kind of already knew there's a good chance that they might not make the playoffs because they have trash and only have one player, LeBron. And they're rebuilding. So deep down inside, it, it wouldn't be that much of a disappointment if they didn't make the playoffs this year. But at face value, they probably should have made the playoffs because guess what? LeBron's here, right? He's supposed to be the GOAT. He's supposed to be the best player in the NBA. He played with trash last year and made it to the finals and got beat up and swept. How come he can't do it? He should be able to do it. the same thing in L.A., right? Come here, play with trash, go to the finals at least, right? But he can't do that. He can't do that because he's in the West. I think if anybody had a rude awakening, it's LeBron, because everybody was telling him the Western Conference is a different monster. Mm -hmm. Now, experience is the best teacher, and right. he's saying it's a different monster. But at the same time, guys that know the game, we knew it was a possibility that they'll be in this situation, mm -hmm. you know, with the young team they right. have. But I'm going to say this, and I'm going to leave it alone. Keep that same energy, because the Lakers won't be the same team next year. Mm. Uh, Steven Jackson, I agree with you right there. I agree with you, sir. Uh, you never count out the Lakers. I never count them out. So next to you never know what could happen. You don't know who could come to, to, to play with them. Now, it, there's a good possibility also that they might not get anybody because nobody wants to deal with LeBron's garbage. Nobody wants to deal with that, which is why, well, what? Paul George didn't come, which is why uh, Kyrie probably is not going to come, which he already left LeBron. Uh, who else is there? Uh, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, who else is there? Uh, uh, I know I forget somebody. But nobody wants to come play with LeBron. So they might have the same squad that they have now, which is pure what? Trash. Let's keep going. Okay. Keep it. So does it taint his legacy that he missed Not the playoffs? Well, obviously, Kobe did miss the playoffs the year after Shaq was run out of town by Kobe, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now, that is that is true. You know, Kobe didn't make the playoffs that, I, I, or didn't make it to the, the championship. That's a ding on Kobe. But guess what? But guess what? Kobe's got five of those things, though, right? But Kobe's got five of those things? Oh, okay. Without Shaq, he's got two of those things, and he did it all himself pretty much? Okay, I I'm cool with that. But on another note, I don't like the way Shaq left, though, because in, real in reality, Kobe and Shaq should have had about six, seven, or eight rings, but their egos got in the way. I want to be the superstar versus the other guy wants to be the superstar. I want to be the number one player. I want to be the number one. It, their ego has gotten away. Kobe and Shaq should have dominated for at least 10 years. Dominated. But let's keep going. So let's look at Kobe's teammates. In that year, they missed the playoffs. They went uh, 34 and 48. Right. Not good. Right. Okay. Karan Butler was the second scorer. Lamar Odom was on that team, third scorer. You remember the immortal Chucky Atkins, Chris Mim, Jermaine Jones, Devin George. That's what you got to work. So, so pretty much trash. So Kobe was playing with garbage, right? He, he was playing with garbage. Let's call it what it is. He was playing with garbage. Uh, let's keep going. With Not a great team. Mm -hmm. no. A team that I would have looked at before the year and said, I don't know. That's, that's in the West. They'll play hard, but yep. yeah. I'm not sure about that. Then they bounced back, and they did make the playoffs the next two years, but they went out quickly and unceremoniously to the Phoenix Suns in the first round. What? You, know? you better tell me Kobe lost in the first round. Well, and he had one pout game where he just... He, he, we didn't shoot... Yeah, he did. I'll admit to it. No problem. No problem. Kobe messed up. He did pout. He did have a, a, a period where he did pout. He pouted, okay? He's not perfect. Oh, he is, kind of. But still, I'll give him that. I can admit to it. I don't have a problem with that. Do you know why I don't have a problem with that, Shannon? Do you know why I can admit that Kobe had uh, a hiccup? It's because he's got five rings. He's got five rings that make up for the pouting, the hiccup, the, the hiccups. Let's keep going. 
Ball. Yeah, people were all over him. He so he had a lot. So he said, ah, today I'm not going to. So you know what, Stacks? He had a lot in common with Michael Jordan. Because mm. you know Michael Jordan went out the first round. Mm. He went out the first round. Mm. Went the old bad book, the big, the big three. Wah, wah, get up out of here. <laughs> wah, wah, get up out of here. Are you talking you're damn right, MJ did. He got whopped up. He got whopped up by Isaiah and company. But guess what? But guess what? He's got six rings. How much do they have? He's six and oh when it counts. When it got to that point, when it got to the do or die point, he got six of those things. He's got six of those things, Shannon. Let's keep going. Got the same guy who went six and zero in the finals with six MVPs. In the finals. I, hold on, he can't be. He can't uh, be. Oh yes, I'm talking about oh, him. I'm talking guy. about the one that the bad boy pistols. Uh, the bad boy pistols had him at the crash. You know what? Had Scottie Pippen talking about he got a migraine. Didn't want to see Robin in my horn. Huh? I think they're. That's right. That's right. Pippen, Jordan, they kind of got beat up by uh, Isaiah Thomas and um and uh uh oh God Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman was putting in work. Putting in work. But guess what? Guess what happened, though? Guess what happened? They went and won six. And guess what? Guess what? Guess what Dennis Rodman did? Guess where Dennis Rodman got three? Guess where he got three rings with? The boys he was beating up. He said, you know what? Let me go and, go and, go and join these guys. Go and get some rings with you guys. You don't have to say anything to me. You know, but let's go and get this jewelry. Let's go and get this, this medal on the hand. So what do you got to say now, Shannon? Let's keep going. Turning down your lights. <laughs> yeah. They're silencing well, you. Yeah. You're silencing what you. God said, turn the lights off. <laughs> Talk about that, Skip. Yep. Talk about that. Oh, How the God. bad boy pissed him. Yeah. Put, him over his, put him over his knee for three years. Walk, walk, walk. Now come back next year with a little more firepower. Walk, walk, walk. Hmm. Interesting. Did it happen? You was covering the team. I want to know, Skip Bayless. Tell the truth now. So the only oh. way this taints... LeBron's legacy is it just completely undercuts and disqualifies your argument that he's greater than Michael Jordan. That's all it does, because at age 34, which is LeBron's age right now, Michael Jordan won another scoring title and was first team all defense at age 34. And obviously they went on to win another championship, their sixth. And another Finals MVP is sixth. Skip, okay, we got to stop. Here's the thing. That's 34 to 34. But here's the thing. He, Michael Jordan, Scottie Pippen led the team in assists all those years. Someone else led the team in rebounding all those years. Jordan didn't have to worry about all these other things that LeBron did. But I still want to know why. Washington, he went to the Wizards. Why does that not have an impact on his legacy? Well, for one thing, it doesn't have an impact on his legacy because he's got six rings, Shannon. He's 6-0 in the finals. That's why people can let that go. You go 6-0 in the finals, you have room to uh, may, may, maybe not be as good as you probably were because you're older towards the end of your career. What don't you get about that, Shannon? Let's keep going. He was still Michael Jordan. That's what you tell me. He the GOAT. Now, the GOAT's supposed to drag anything. GOAT's eat anything. Mm. So why couldn't he get it there? But this old big horn sheep, watch what he be doing in year. In, in year. And think about Hold on, Skip. You keep telling me when he was in Washington, that was year 13 and 14. LeBron James is in year 16. Mm -hmm. LeBron James, year 13 and 14. Age, NBA age, finals. age, 38 and 39 in Washington. What got to do with anything if he's right. the guy that you said he is? But what is what what player that's the face of the league won the MVP and defensive player? Mm. Yes, Mr. Jackson. Yes. Won MVP and defensive. Oh, the man played, he went both ways, Shannon. Le two nights ago, LeBron had to be pushed by Kyle Kuzma, a second-year player, to be pushed to go play defense. LeBron had to be pushed last night by a second-year player, Kyle Kuzma, to get there on defense like a little junior high kid that's pouting and doesn't want to play anymore. Can you imagine MJ doing that? MJ wouldn't do that. You think MJ would let somebody push him, period, let alone have to be pushed because he doesn't want to get down on defense? You don't have to tell MJ to play defense. LeBron doesn't play defense. Let's keep going. That is it. Do you know right. LeBron? That's, but that's that's hard to do, Shannon. LeBron James should have won the defense. Should have won. Uh, he got to play defense, defense first. Oh. The year Marc Gasol won it, you know LeBron's supposed to have a goddamn award. Stacks? Right? Man, no. You see, uh, Shannon, we don't go with the woulda, coulda, shoulda. He should have done this. He should have done that. Well, LeBron should have won more. But 
we can't go with hypotheticals, can we? Let's keep going. Did LeBron not bring this year upon himself? Because we still hear that he was the one who wanted playmakers, not shooters. Oh, right? well, LeBron, LeBron right. out of his mind. Okay, he was out of his mind, but that's what he wanted. He and it's been the case of LeBron getting what he wants. He selects the players that he wants. He, that's been going on since uh, well, when he was with Miami. That whole team was selected. That's a super team. That was selected. And especially when he went to Cleveland, he picked all those damn players. He picked them all. He thought he had a super team with Love, uh, Smith, JR, and uh, Kyrie. He thought he had a super team, but it didn't work out. Whoa, 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 hold on, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It worked out one time. It worked out one time because Draymond Green got suspended because uh, LeBron wanted to get disrespectful and walk across him, and Le Draymond couldn't have that, so he bust him in the sack a little bit. And then, who who was, uh, what well, Iguodala was hurt, and the center for uh, uh, Golden State was hurt. So that's the only reason why they came through. But all the other times, LeBron's team was handpicked, and it didn't work out. So you should blame him. He tried to make a super team, but it didn't work. Because why? Because he came to the West. He fought against the West and lost. Golden State bust them cakes. Let's keep going. Give him a Rondo. <laughs> give him a Lance. No. Who else can make plays? Still, I don't know. If you look at LeBron James' career, LeBron James has really played with two pay playmakers. Mm -hmm. That's Kyrie Irving mm -hmm. and, and uh, Dwayne Wade. Mm -hmm. And even when he had those guys, what was he surrounded with? Shooters. Yeah. Okay. So sure. now all of a sudden you will get year 16 and talk about you don't want shooters, you want playmakers? Okay. W w okay, where are they? Where are the playmakers? Okay. So, if you're the GOAT, you shouldn't, you shouldn't be worried about or looking around for what could be brought to you. You should be able to do it yourself. You need to be selfish. Like Kobe, MJ, I need the ball. Give me the ball. I'll do it. I don't need any help. I can run all five positions. I can bang on anybody. I can defend anybody. Because I'm the GOAT. I don't need to look around. Oh, I need shooters. I need help. I need to form a former super team around me. Everyone else has a super team. No, I don't need it. Because I'm the GOAT. Because my name is MJ. Because my name is Kobe. Jump on my back. Anybody jump on my back? I'll take this. I'll take this. When I win anything, start going out right. That's fine. Everybody jump on my back. I got this. We can take this. There's plenty of room on my back. Let's go. I got this. I don't need shooters. I don't need anybody. I can do it myself. Why? Because I'm the GOAT. You're not the GOAT, LeBron. Let's keep going. I don't know. They're, they're he told me he wanted playmakers. Yeah, Michael know, Beasley's in China, I think, right? I talked to him yesterday. Did oh, you yeah? really? Yeah, yeah. Is he all right? Yeah, he's doing good. 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 Shout out to Michael good. Beasley. Out to Mike I love huh. Michael Beasley. I mean, we're, we're okay. playmakers, Skip. Okay, so a year ago, uh, not even a year ago, but in the offseason, LeBron had chances. He could have gone to Philly and joined forces with that team. Great things would have happened. He could have gone to Houston. Why didn't LeBron go to San Antonio with Kawhi and all those guys? Why didn't he want to do that? Because he doesn't want to go to a system that's not geared around him. He doesn't want to go to a team-orientated system. And Popovich wouldn't have any of this garbage that he tried to pull with Tyron Lu, a.k.a. Catfish. Popovich won't have it. You don't listen to what Popovich says. LeBron's not going to go there and think he can run shop. Because Popovich ain't having it. Hey, he's not having it. So that's why he didn't want to go there. And he might have gotten a ring. He might have had something going on in San Antonio. But let's keep going and join forces with that team, great things would happen. Mm -hmm. He joined forces with Hollywood. He wanted Hollywood, and he got Hollywood. And, and I was shocked the day it happened because I said, he's going to do this without a, a bona fide co-star, yeah. like a yeah. second score? Sure. Like, really? You're going to do that? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess he's going to do that. And then he brought some of this on himself because obviously at the trade deadline, he and Rich Paul attempted to power play their way into Anthony Davis. And they were willing to trade all the kids, all the clean out the locker room, all the kids. Yeah. And and it. Exactly. Which New Orleans, the Pelicans are smart. What are they, what even trade are they really going to get from the Lakers that would justify trading, uh, getting Anthony Davis? Nothing. They get nothing but pure trash. So we think we'll keep them. We'll keep this going for until summertime. Let's keep going. Just detonated that locker room. It, it never they was couldn't the handle same. It. They couldn't yeah. handle it. Yeah. Okay. So is that, is that on LeBron? A no. little bit. Yeah, a little bit's on LeBron. And then the way it happened this year, <laughs> he is to the point where he just doesn't want to play defense. And you say he has to sort of conserve his energy on defense. Okay. okay. No okay, such fine. things, Gil. Okay. No such thing. Do, do you play defense in, in big three? Yes, you do. Yeah. Have you always played Not defense? That. It was your calling card. Yes. Yeah, of course, that's... Come on. Huh? That's... There's nothing you can say, Shannon. 
The man always played defense. Always played defense. MJ always played defense. And he always played all the games. I mean, how many seasons did he go where MJ, he played like two or three seasons in a row and didn't miss a game? He didn't miss a game. There's no sitting out. There's no pouting. There's no healing. You played a whole goddamn season. I'm sorry for the kids. I'm sorry for the kids. Some they might have heard that. Let's keep going. Of course, you three, play three, defense, three. man. But I play defense in the league. I played on both ends. I started the two way player stuff. Mm -hmm. I, what I need you to tell you what I need you to play two way, but I need you to give me twenty seven, eight, and eight. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. It ain't easy to look. Okay. So LeBron, much of this year, has played that one man zone. He just goes and stands under the basket and looks as he watches, and he won't even contest. He won't help. And I'm like, come on, LeBron, set a tone because the kids aren't going to play. And what it is, if, if LeBron is, he has a lot on his shoulders, yes, I would say that. But you do the best that you can do. You don't just play offense and shut down a defense because you want to do everything on offense. You proportion it out. You even it out. So you put in work on both ends, even though it might not be 100% on one side or the other. So you go 50-50 and your 50-50 is still going to be pretty darn good. Or you go maybe 90-10. You got to do something on defense, man. You got to do something. What we saw two nights ago where Kyle Kuzma had to push you into uh, to, to playing defense, that's unacceptable. The GOAT would never do that. The GOAT would never do that. So let's keep going. Play defense if you don't set any True. tone on defense. True. It's hard. And they were a bad defensive team, and it killed them in the end. It's yeah. killed them for the last five or six games because they just that's, they play no defense. That's what happens when okay. you don't play defense right. is you allow the Milwaukee to go on a 15-2 run to close out the game, yeah. okay. and you lose by teams. No, so, what you need to do, Luke, is put them in the film sessions, make sure you point out LeBron is not doing what he's supposed to do in all those film sessions, but I'm sure he's not doing that. I don't that. think they're doing but that. But here's the thing. There's only a handful of coaches that can do that. Greg Popovich. <laughs> Greg Popovich. Pat Riley, some of the all-time greats. Why Luke can't do it? You the coach. You don't know good well. No, too, but he can't. I'm not. I'm not Steve uh, Greg Popovich. If I was a coach, I would do it, and LeBron deal with it. Let me ask you a question. How long you think you hold that job? After it, it, it ain't about that. It's about me doing my job. Mm. And guess, but guess what? You want to have a job to do, right? I'm not worried about that. I'm, if I get fired doing my job, I can live with it. Okay. Mm. You know how it works, Dak. You've been. You, oh, I know how it works now. I know, I, I know, I'm talking to you, but I know how it works. This, this is a, play, a real for play elite. Now, the end of so I understand what they're saying. You have to tell LeBron, no matter who he is, doesn't matter if he's a superstar or what. You got to tell him. You, you, you got to do your job. But at the same time, I mean, you can understand both arguments. LeBron is a coach killer. If he doesn't like you, if you don't get along with him, if you punish him, if you say anything against him, it's it's not going to look good for you. But I understand what Steven Jackson saying. Hey, I'll do my job too. Hey, LeBron, you need to get down and play defense, which is why Kyle Kuzma had to push him to get down there and play some defense. Kyle was like, you know what? I'm going to get traded anyway, so I might as well push this guy. Get over there and play defense, man. I mean, come on. Let's keep going. NFL, Skip, you know you can do that. Coach, and call. Yeah. Bill Belichick has been very well documented. Yep. You don't call out everybody. It doesn't okay. matter. I got it. My other issue with LeBron just this year is lack of leadership. Because there were years in Cleveland, he wasn't a good leader. He was a great leader. When they came back from 3-1 down, he led that team. Right. He was. The reason why he was able to do that is because at some of those points, they were winning. It's easy to be a leader when you're winning and everything is going good. But when things start going bad, like I've said before in other videos, things start going bad. LeBron starts pouting. He starts pouring fingers. People start disappearing. Let's keep going. The driving force and Kyrie got to go along for the ride, even though Kyrie was the closer. He right. was not the leader. Mm -hmm. The alpha was LeBron. Right. This year, for whatever reason, LeBron checked out on this team. He just didn't love it from the start, and he distanced himself from the kids. Like, don't associate me with them. You want to sit at the very end of the bench. I think the, I think the biggest mistake a guy can make, Skip, is that you have a leadership style in one area, and you feel you can take that exact style mm -hmm. to another area. Maybe. When I was in Denver, Skip, yep. you led one way. When you go to Baltimore, you have to lead an entirely different way. And I think LeBron James is that he thought everybody's going to respond the same way mm -hmm. in L.A. like they did to him in Cleveland. So what that means, Shannon, what that means is he can't be the GOAT because the GOAT is going to be a great leader. The GOAT is going to know how to make adjustments. He's going to have to know make adjustments just like in the game. Something's not going right. Okay, let's make some adjustments. Let's try this. Let's try that. LeBron is not, he doesn't know how to make 
the type of adjustments that a leader would make. Okay, I'm here playing with these type of guys. These guys respond to this. Okay, I moved over to LA. I'm in the West now. It's going to be harder. I'm probably not going to do well because I'm not as good as everybody thinks because I'm in the West. He doesn't know how to make adjustments to deal with that. And it's blatantly apparent. Let's keep going. And as you go and you, you live and you learn, you understand that, okay, sometimes you got to praise a guy. Sometimes you hug, put your arm around a guy and like, hey, bro, it's going to be okay. Mm-hmm. Next time, there's some guys you got to kick in the butt. Okay, see, but it's taking you 16 years to learn that, LeBron. It's taking you 16 years how to learn, how to be a leader, how to make adjustments. Nah, 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 you're not the GOAT. You, you can't be. You can't be the GOAT. You can't be the GOAT. Let's keep going. But you have to understand the individuality of every single player mm. because it's not one size fit all mm. in a leadership style. And then, and then, then too, where he went wrong is, you know, I got to be real, I love LeBron, but where he went wrong was he made it obvious that he took the back of his best friend who's the agent over his teammates. <laughs> He sided with him over his teammates, and it backfired. Right. Mm. He should have he he stayed with his teammates, let his friend do his job, yeah. and, and if, however that worked, he's still with his team. What so you it didn't matter. Tell me what you want to say. That's I true. want him to come in the locker room and say, look, regardless of what's going on, I'm with y'all. Let them know that. that. Let them know that. But look, you gotta, you, they got to hear from you because they, all they're hearing from my, everybody else is they're getting traded. That ain't but here's the thing. You and I both know. Young you guys, know, Shannon. I they young. I agree with you. Mm. But you know that what they say it. This dude, your, this dude, and your, uh, uh, the same, the same agent that you have, he has. Mm. What you talking about? You with us? Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, yeah. Stay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's like, to go about that's it. like, man, yeah. hey, man, I ain't tell, to go about it. it, it it's kind of like stack when you tell somebody something. Now you only told this one person, mm. and it gets out. Bro, I swear I ain't told nobody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. like, dude? Only person knew was me and you. Right. And I definitely didn't tell. What you think? Them guys looking at, LeBron? bro? I'm riding with y'all. I don't know where that coming from. But see, Shannon, those are like childish high school games. Someone so said this, someone said said that, someone so was denying it. You gotta know how to play those games, man. You gotta know how to play those political type games. You gotta know how to play the role. And like I said, LeBron just doesn't have a natural leader would know how to make those type of adjustments to be cool with your agent, but at the same time be cool with the guys in there. You know how to make those type of adjustments. Again, he doesn't know how to do that because he's not a natural leader. It's just not. So let's keep going. Hey, I don't know. Mm-hmm. It, it, they wouldn't be, it wouldn't be as bad, though, if he would have put himself in that position with them. Mm-hmm. Let me know I'm with y'all. Yep. Okay? So y'all can get traded. I can get you traded. Know what? You know, you, just make it feel you know like what? You know what the bottom line what? takeaway from this whole discussion is? This proves once and for all Michael Jordan is the greatest. No, I don't, no, 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 no. Yes, it does. You know what? It you does. Know, you're right, it's over. Like, it's over. Hey. It was over when he lost to Dallas. That's when it was over. For me, it was over before that. But it, it was officially over when he lost his first finals. That's it. You can't be like MJ. You can't do it. And really, for me, if you want to get technical, if you want to get technical, if you want to be the GOAT, you're going to have to come in to the league off a national championship in college. I know a lot of players like to come in from you know high school to the pros, but just me personally, to make it be nice and sweet, you got to come in like MJ or like Carmelo Anthony. You got to come in and win a national championship and then bounce and then get to the league and dominate in the league too. So you just got rings all over the place. But that's just a little side note. But let's keep going. Period. Understand. You know what? Hey, you know.